Hey everyone, it's me, Clay and Connolly here for a for a new video in which today's video this is going to be a DVD and Blu-ray update for November 1st, 2019. And happy late Halloween, everybody. So yep, and today's the first day of November, and which and which for the first day of November it's a new movie update, in which this in which this is going to be a DVD and Blu-ray update, as you all know, and which later tonight, um I just got back from downtown Delaware because it's first, first Friday and we go out to First Friday a lot and and during First Friday I went out to two stores. I went to Gameplay and I got 11 DVDs and 4 Blu-rays and then I went to Pat's Records and I got 6 DVDs. So yep, so I have a total of seven, 17 DVDs and 4 Blu-rays for this update. So yep, so I have a lot of these so let's get this started. So here's the update, let's get this started. And for the ones that have the sticker, I will point out the ones that come from, from Pat's Records. But the others, if they come from gameplay, then I'm not mentioning it. This first one comes from Pat Records. I do have the original Alfie, the 1966 version of Alfie on DVD, that I'm on Laserdisc, which is the 1996 Laserdisc. Now I have the 2004 version of Alfie on DVD. For the rest of DVDs of Blu-rays, they have this sticker that comes from Gameplay. Sorry, the Bella, my cat Bella just came in the room. For, for some reason, this comes in a PlayStation 2 case but this is a DVD there's the receipt Warner Brothers movie coerced by Castle Rock Had this movie on VHS, but I get the DVD for an upgrade, and it was only five bucks. This is originally purchased from Walmart, but I got it from Gameplay. This has a slipcover on it. A shiny slipcover. Side A is the movie and side B is the special features. And that for Cart Leo's Way Rise to Power, which is a direct to video sequel. And the American Pie 3 movie pack. Next two DVDs come from Pat's Records. And this DVD, um, this is one, I believe one of two DVDs that I got for this update that was sealed, which both of them came from Pat's Records, but I already opened them up.
This is a United Artists movie. It says 1981, but other places say 1980. I believe this is one of the last United Artists movies to be released before they teamed up with MGM in late 1981 because of Heaven's Gate. And this movie's from Paramount, but this DVD is a reprint from Warner Home Video from 2013. Even though Warner Brothers no longer distributes Paramount titles, as we all know. But I think this DVD may still have the same, comp same contact as the original Paramount DVD. And this is next up is another movie I have on beach just by wanting to get on DVD. This movie's from MGM and the Dirty Dozen is also an MGM film. And next DVD, and next one comes from Pat's Records. And this DVD, like the Dirty Dozen, was also sealed by Already Open It Up. I, and my Grandpa Joe has this same exact DVD copy, which is pretty cool. But now I got myself my very own copy. This is the 1999 version of the Out of Towners. This is a remake of the 1970 movie with Jack Lemmon and Sandy Dennis. So I still don't have that movie yet, but I, but I do hope to find that movie sometime. And this is a War Home Video reprint, but this is still the original 1999 DVD from Paramount. And rest in peace, Robert Evans, the producer of this movie, because he passed away on October 30th. So may you rest in peace. And the disc itself still is the 1999 DVD from Paramount. Next DVD comes from Pat's Records, and this is a movie I've never heard about. This is an um, Hindi film, which is Indian, but I do like foreign films, so I had to go ahead and get this movie a watch, shot, and this is 95 cents, which is a really good deal. And this movie was actually released by Columbia Pictures, but I don't know if this movie will have the Columbia Pictures logo at the beginning. Because this is a foreign film. And next two DVDs are season sets, which are both the first two season sets of South Park. I do have the movie South Park Bigger Larger Longer on Cut on DVD. That's a that's a funny movie. I did see some of the I did see some episode episodes of the show and it is pretty funny. So so I went ahead and bought this set along with the second set. And gameplay did have the rest of the seasons, but maybe next time if I go back to gameplay, um if they still have the rest of the South Park season sets, I will pick them up. And and this scene set originally aired from 1997 to 1998.
And here's the second season, which this season aired from 1998 to, to 1999. And both of these DVDs, DVD sets are from 2004 by Paramount. I do, I believe this was this D, the first and second season of South Park were were originally released on DVD by Warner Brothers, but Paramount re-released them because Comedy Central is owned by Viacom, and Viacom's owned by Paramount, as we all know. This DVD was originally purchased for Hat, from Hat Price Books back in 2012, and the price tag was was $13, but I got this for only $5 from Gameplay. And this DVD is out of print, but has been released by the Warner Archive Collection. Here's the last DVD I got from Pat's Records, and this is a movie I had on VHS, but I'm decided to get it on DVD. And this one's the special edition version, which is extremely rare, because every other DVD re release of this movie you see is pretty much the bare bones edition. But this one's the special edition, which I don't know why um, MGM discontinued this DVD release, because this is a popular film. This side's the movie, and side B, I believe, is the special features. And and we all know the new Terminator movie, Terminator Dark Fate, has just came out recently. I still do hope to get um, Terminator 2 on DVD or Blu-ray. And I'm not so sure about getting Terminator 3 or Terminator, Terminator, Terminator Salvation. Or T Terminator Genesis. I'm just going to stick with the first two Terminator movies. This one's a six movie set. This DVD set's from Mill Creek Entertainment, but these movies are from Columbia Pictures because Mill Creek has the rights to Sony. And this has Have Rocket Will Travel, The, Out the Outlaws Is Coming, Rockin' the Rockies, Three Stooges Go Around the World in a Daze, Three Stooges Meets Hercules, and Time Out for Rhythm. And there's also two other um, Three Stooges movies, which are Three Stooges in Orbit and Stop Look and Laugh, but I don't know why Mill Creek Entertainment didn't didn't re-release those movies, but whatever. I do like the Three Stooges, so went ahead and bought this. And here's the last DVD. And this one's a form roll from Blockbuster. Now and now let's go on to the four Blu-rays, which all these come from gameplay. 
This is the film I wanted to see for a while because I heard it's really good. Now I finally have it. And this is a Merrimax film, but this Blu-ray is from Lionsgate. This is another movie. This is another film I've been wanting to check out for a while. Now I finally got my copy of my own copy of this movie. And there's no digital copy because this was because this was used. This is a Touchstone Pictures movie released on Blu-ray by Mill Creek Entertainment. This is my second Touchstone movie that was released on Blu-ray by Mill Creek. The other one I have is Ernst Goes to the Camp, which is an adult feature of Camp Noah, which is a Hollywood Pictures movie. This is back when Mill Creek released the Touchstone movies on Blu-ray until 2016, before Kino Lober went ahead. And here's the last Blu-ray for this update. There's no digital copy code. And that's it for my DVD Blu-ray update for November 1st, 2019. Hope you like this video and stick around for some new videos coming soon.